We turn now to the 2024 presidential campaign and former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. He is in Bayhead, New Jersey. Good morning. Governor, have some Republicans, especially those in Congress, been too quick to rally behind Trump this week without knowing the full scope of the evidence in the records case? Look, uh, if you read that indictment, and as you recall, Bob, I did this work for seven years as the United States attorney in New Jersey, the fifth largest office in the country. And that indictment lays out some very, very disturbing facts about not only the president, the former president, keeping all these documents, the national security documents that he had no right to keep under the Presidential Rac Records Act or any other law, but worse, instructing his lawyers to lie and to obstruct the government from getting those documents back. Um, there's some very disturbing conduct in there, including the showing of these documents to other people that were not cleared to be able to see them. So I think that we've got to have a full trial here and a fair one. The president, the former president, is presumed innocent until proven guilty. But the conduct in there, Bob, is deeply disturbing. And what I'm concerned about is, look, we need change at the Department of Justice. Um, and, and if I'm president, you can be guaranteed that we'll put an attorney general in there who will lead without fear or favor and clear out anyone who does show partisanship. Um, but that's a different issue than the conduct that Donald Trump engaged in. And in my view, that's not the conduct that we should have from someone who wants to be president of the United States again. Governor, you just said you'd make some changes at the Department of Justice. Some of your rivals in the race have said that the Justice Department, in their view, is weaponizing this investigation, targeting former President Trump. You know the FBI director for years, Chris Wray. Are your rivals wrong when they talk about the DOJ becoming weaponized? Look, I think the DOJ under Eric Holder became weaponized. Uh, and, and the fact of the matter is, when you look at what he did um, as his time as attorney general, both against Republicans and in refusing, along with Loretta Lynch later but on, what about now, Governor? Um, to prosecute uh, Hillary Clinton. Well, I'll get to it, Bob. And, and I think now what we're looking at is people seeing things as being inequitable that if you don't prosecute Hillary Clinton and you choose to prosecute Donald Trump, that that raises real questions in Republicans' minds, and it should. But it does not change the conduct. We would not be here if Donald Trump had simply returned the documents the dozens of times the government asked him to return them, the times that the grand jury served a subpoena for them. He waited, waited, and waited, defied the government, and then... Um, wound up having his, his house raided. And when they did, they found over 100 more classified documents after he had told everybody months earlier he had returned everything. That conduct is indefensible, in my view. And if it's true, uh, as alleged in the indictment, he is in severe legal trouble. Indefensible, disturbing, your words about this alleged conduct. Is the Republican Party right now not only at a crossroads politically, but historically? Look, I said this when I announced for president. We have been at a crossroads at numbers of times in, in our nation's history. 1776, 1861, 1941, 1961, and 1981. Um, in all those years, we had presidents like George Washington, like Abraham Lincoln, like FDR, like JFK, and like Ronald Reagan, who had a choice between going small and going big and doing big things for America. We need a president who, once again, is not looking at this small stuff in the rearview mirror, who's constantly whining and complaining and moaning about how things are unfair. What we need as a party and as a country is a president who will go big, lead America to big achievements and big goals again. And there's nobody, Bob, who can do big better than me. How will history see your own role with Trump? Look, I made it very clear in 2016, I did not want Hillary Clinton to be president of the United States. And I think that was the right decision. And my hope back in 2016 was that I could make Donald Trump a better candidate. And if he won, a better president. I tried and I was wrong. I couldn't make him a better president. And he failed over and over again. This is a race for the White House. You're not the only one running against former President Trump. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is ahead of you in the polls. Does DeSantis have 
what it takes to become the leading Trump alternative? Well, look, we're going to find out. Um, I don't know Governor DeSantis all that well. I trust I'll get to know him much better over the course of this campaign. But I'll say this, uh, Bob, and, and people can see this if, if they go to our website at chrischristie.com. They'll see that in the, the last two polls in New Hampshire, we are now solidly in third place after one week in the race and only four points behind Governor DeSantis, who's in second place. So this is a race to be the Trump alternative. Right now, Tony Blinken, the Secretary of State, meeting with Chinese officials. Do you believe it's the right decision by the Biden administration to engage with China in this way? Look, Bob, I think the problem has been the entire Biden administration has been filled with mishaps towards China. First, let's start with Ukraine, where Joe Biden said a small incursion wouldn't be a problem. He sent a signal to Russia and China that a war in Ukraine would be OK. China's now funding it because we gave them the signal it was OK. And Russia is killing innocent Ukrainian citizens who only want their freedom. Um, he has made mistakes in terms of not being tougher against China on the stealing of our intellectual property, letting spy balloons fly over our country unharassed. Whatever he's doing today is uh, a day late and a dollar short, um, Bob. He should have been being much more direct with China right from the beginning. And I think people who know me know that there will be no confusion on the part of President Xi when I'm president of the United States about what American policy is and that every day we'll be fighting to make America the winner in this competition against China. Governor Christie, we'll see you on the campaign trail soon. We appreciate you being here and face the nation. We'll be right back. Don't go away.